So all right, three, two, one. Twenty-five. Righty, twenty-five miles an hour. Feet off of the brakes. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the channel and to this episode. We're doing something a little bit different. Today, as you can see right behind me, we have the Hunter Ridge Line and we have this great wall of 39 boxes. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna find out how well does the collision assist, the mitigation system on this Honda Ridge Line, will it work in time to stop before it collides with this wall that I have here? And uh, we're gonna do a couple of different tests. We're gonna find out if you can do that like 25, 35, and so on and so forth until we find a failure point. We'll do some in cruise control, and I think we'll do some as well, uh, just using the pedal and seeing if the system will overtake and stop the vehicle in the event that you know, you're looking away, you don't see a vehicle in front of you while you're accelerating. So let's go ahead and let's take this for a crash course. This is a big wall. All righty, so a little walkthrough before we go ahead and break down this beautiful wall. Here we have our boxes. It's about uh, seven or eight inches taller than the Honda Ridgeline, and it's about the width of the Ridgeline in length. So I'm gonna give this the opportunity to uh, make this as big as possible to make it and give the vehicle the best opportunity to see this wall because I actually did this with a foam uh, wall uh, maybe it doesn't even recognize this barrier. I mean, I have honestly no idea. It's pink. So, may or may not even notice this. Maybe I'll flip it around because the other side has wording. That way there's, you know, more stuff on it. And I was having a really hard time making that work. And so now, we're going to try something a little bit different. And if it doesn't register this, then I'm a little concerned about how well and how accurate this unit is. Maybe it only reads vehicles and pedestrians. So. But anyways, this is an ultimate test. Let's find out. What if you were to crash into a wall? Would it stop? So just like the foam wall, it's registering it right up front close. So we will find out to see. This is really it. I have no other way to do it. So we're gonna see if this uh, vehicle will register this wall. If not, well, we're gonna make a really cool crash. So let's go ahead and go. I think we're going to go 25 miles an hour because I think that's the first speed that we can do cruise control on. And we're going to make the uh, cruise at the furthest distance possible. That way it has the maximum opportunity to stop. And uh, I have already wiped down the mirrors and the sensors. So here we go. All ready. We're going to keep traction control on. Everything's going to be the same exactly how you would have it in your vehicle when you're driving, because I think that's gonna give us the most realistic scenario. So, <laughs> nothing else. All right, three, two, one. So, 25, all right, 25 miles an hour. Feet off the brakes. didn't stop why didn't it stop that <laughs> honestly was unexpected but side view mirrors messed up and uh, everything else all right we're gonna have to reset it and try it again oh look at the carnage that's uh one box down two boxes down three boxes down uh. so the sensors did not register this wall. <laughs> I thought we'd probably have a little bit more unit of time, but to be completely honest, I was expecting that it would stop. So we're gonna try another alternative and uh, see if that, if we just go and if I hold the pace, if it'll register the wall and then we'll try it again. 
So we're gonna go set all this up again and try this one more time. Very interesting that it's not registering uh, that this wall is in front. That was still pretty exciting. I was like waiting, waiting, waiting. When's it gonna kick in? When's it gonna kick in? And it never did. One box really took a beating. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to salvage this guy. Just put this off to the side here. All right, let's go try that again. Alrighty, so it didn't work. We're gonna have to give this another try and see if uh, we go and I hold the speed through the entire duration as opposed to have the cruise control on. See if that will make a difference. But I'm honestly extremely surprised that the vehicle was not able to register that the boxes were in its place. Now again, it could be because the algorithms on the Honda Ridgeline are looking for a specific shape. You know, a pedestrian and or a parked vehicle. You know, and it's looking for that specific algorithm. And that might be why it's not registering this. However, I would expect that it still would register this wall. So, let's see here. Navigation, what is this? This collision? No, we want it on. So let's turn it back on. Collision mitigation braking system it is on. Okay, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing else to do for it. So let's go ahead, attempt number two. We're gonna go 25 miles an hour with my foot on the pedal, maintaining the acceleration throughout the entire duration. So three, two, one, go. Again, it failed miserably. And again, for some reason, always this side keeps getting pushed. So, I think it's safe to say that this Honda mitigation system does not work in the event that you have a wall of boxes in front of you. So we're gonna take off this. Yeah, terrible. Two for two, I don't think it's, uh, worthy of going for any further attempts with this because we wouldn't be able to survive either a 25 mile per hour cruise control or a 25 mile per hour maintained speed attempt with the throttle. So as you guys can see the carnage here, Honda, it's uh, 0 for 2 with cardboard boxes. So I guess we're gonna have to find out is there something that we can find or I can build that'll actually make it work to see how this system works. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest video releases. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next project. Now we gotta pick up all this carnage. Interesting that, I'm gonna have to look into it and see why the Honda Ridgeline is not uh, registering that uh, these boxes are visible uh, in the event uh, you know, you happen to run into it. So I'm really curious about that. Like, what's the reasoning behind it that it cannot register this? Because that makes me just kind of curious if, uh, you know, you're driving and, uh, you know, obviously something other than a vehicle comes on the road, some sort of obstruction, you know, and sometimes, you know, you can get complacent and wonder and you know worry like I, I do too you know i drive and i want I'm like yeah hey, i got the cruise control mitigation system and it'll you know help prevent uh something from happening and yet it doesn't you know uh, i think i remember watching a video of a tesla 
in autopilot. There was a semi that was flipped over on its side and the Tesla just ran right in it and it didn't register that. So again, I think it might be main cause of this is that the algorithms that are uh, that these are based off of are based off of uh, designated or known objects. So I, I don't know for sure if that's how it's designed, but I think that's that would make the most sense to me that uh, why it's not registering uh, specific shapes or and and or this wall. I mean, maybe this color, you know, this brown color. I had a red color wall with the foam and now this brown color with the cardboard, obviously. And I'm wondering if that is, you know, another potential to why it's not registering. And I'll leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the video and what you guys uh, know about Honda Ridgelines and their mitigation systems because honestly, I have no idea how this works. And so I'm just kind of making this video because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. You know, I, I, mean, I would be driving and the Honda does frequently actually stop and start braking before I hit the brakes. And uh, you know, they kind of got me thinking, I was like, well, what kind of uh, room for error do I have? So I was hoping that this test would uh, give me a little bit of insight in that. However, it, it didn't, so. And again, I might be doing the test wrong, so again, not saying that it's a Honda issue or something with the sensor, but uh, definitely some room for improvement, you know? If Honda's gonna have newer vehicles that are gonna have these mitigation systems built into them, uh, they might have to, you know, start building an algorithm that supports, you know, other objects other than you know, basic car shapes, you know, say, hey, there is an obstruction on the road and uh, the vehicle needs to brake, even if it doesn't know exactly what the object is. So I think over time, all these systems are gonna get better, you know, but definitely I would not rely on it now as a guarantee uh, to save you in the event that something happens to get out in the road. Um, now, maybe I just do like a cutout of like a human person or something like that, or get like a, a doll of some sort, and then just like drag it across the street. So we may have to revisit this whole entire project um, and just see kind of what the options are. So give me some comments down below and uh, I'll look at those options that you guys might have as an idea for another alternative video uh, to re-enact a crash scenario with the Ridgeline. And maybe we can figure out how to get uh, the sensors to operate and uh, actually engage uh, appropriately. So, yeah, I gotta do my part, you know, clean everything up. Can't just leave the trash. If you guys aren't buying Reliance cups, this is probably the cup that you guys need to be buying. You see, now you can get a lot of boxes in the back of this on a ridge line. It's got good storage.